Entrouded's first major update is here and includes many of the items mentioned in the recent roadmap post, and also a few other things, including a new craftsman, which is Alden the Collector. Pretty creepy guy, if you ask me. Now, over the next few days, I do hope to cover the update in a lot more detail, as well as start my permadeath run of Enshrouded. So do keep an eye on my channel. I'm hoping to get it up by the end of the week. But starting off, I did want to cover the first Hallowed Hall dungeon, because though it may be considered the easiest dungeon available, it is by far from easy, especially if you're soloing the dungeon. Here in this particular case, I have my level 25 Ranger build, that I'll be using for this, and I still find it overwhelming at times. So for this, I do recommend taking your highest level food that you have available. You'll also be facing swarms of enemies, and though they're only level 10, they will definitely be giving you a run for your money. So on top of your best foods, consider a supply of bandages for slow healing, health potions, and also the Will of Wisps. These will help light up the darker areas, which will be very beneficial if you're not using items which produce light, such as the, the swords which glow in the dark. And if you are an archer soloing, I highly recommend taking several hundred arrows and if possible, you'll also want a stock of exploding arrows as well, because these are going to help against the larger waves. I will also mention that in regards to how many arrows I took, I took 420 arrows and we left with about 100 and these were iron arrows. So do be aware of that. And of course, take the best items, the, the best armor and weapons that you have available. You can see we've got a fully kitted out level 25 character here. Now, the first Hallowed Hall is actually really easily located after speaking with the Alchemist. That's how you start this quest line, and you'll find the hall in the southwest of the map nearby to Peaceful Acres. Um, it is also directly south of the Nobelisk. Nobelisk? No, that's satisfactory. Obelisk. Obelisk. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, directly south of the obelisk near Peaceful Acres. From there, you'll find a winding road that leads up to the Hallowed Hall. Now, the Hallowed Hall is a particularly large dungeon. And I, I have said that I am soloing this one. I highly recommend, if you are not a high-level character, to be taking friends with you. Uh, because it's going to be a lot to handle. Now, throughout these dungeons, you're going to be finding a handful of new enemies. We have the basic enemies. There's also skeleton dogs. Uh, sorry, basic skeletons, skeleton dogs, a shocking bat. And there's also a spell casting skeleton as well. Now, these spell casters use cold spells to slow your character down. And you can see that via the ice around your feet. Um, they're manageable if you're fighting them alone but they can spell doom. That is a person <laughs> I didn't intend it to be, but it is now. Uh, these can spell your doom in groups as they will slow you down and then you'll just be overwhelmed by the lower tiered enemies. Now, if you are concerned about this, do use the ice protection lotion. This is a new potion that'll give you con a considerable amount of ice armor depending on your level. There's also a new scythe skeleton that will lunge at you, and I'm sure in later dungeons we will see new bosses as well, which were kind of teased in the trailer that we've seen today. Now, as you make your way through the halls, you'll find swathes of bones. These can be mined for bones. And I also suspect in later areas that these respawn the skeletons. So do be aware of that. I was clearing out a room and there always seem to be more skeletons nearby to these, these bones after I cleared the room out. The Hallowed Halls is kind of a, a quite a linear experience. It's not too difficult to find your way through it. Um, though you will have to make your way through a series of barriers in various rooms. These can be unlocked in for what I've seen so far one of two ways. Um, the, in the first dungeon instance at least. So the first one is that you can collect the ectoplasm runes that are floating around the room. Um, you'll find that once or twice. And finding all of them will unlock the, the barrier. And then the second one is just killing the skeletons with the runes that are above their head. And you'll see on the barrier how many you have to kill. 
and you, you just have to kill all of them. Now, working my way through the hallowed hall, I was surprised at how little loot there was of available. Um, you'll find various crypts, and generally speaking, they'll just have bandages or flame spells or, or stuff like that. However, in the large room where you have to kill, I, I think it's six enemies in order to unlock the barrier, you can actually find four separate rooms across from them and each contain a silver chest where you can find the hallowed halls build pieces. And then at the end, after finding the craftsman in the first dungeon, you also have a legendary crypt, which has, so far I've found two different weapons there, but I presume equipment as well. Though I'm sure in later hallowed halls, because we have a hallowed hall dungeon for each of the biomes that we have available so far, um, I'm sure they will have more loot available, but they're definitely going to be re requiring more friends to get through, um, it, especially if you're trying to get through them quickly, which is why now is the perfect time to run a dedicated server with friends. That way you can all jump online whenever you feel like it, and no one is stuck running the game on their own PC, causing them to lose uh, frames. Now, if this is something that interests you, do make sure to check out our partner, Low.ms. They provide dedicated servers for Enshrouded and many of the games, and you can get 20% off your first month using the link in the description below and the code Total Eclipse at checkout. And you'll also be supporting the channel through a little kickback as well, allowing me to create more Enshrouded content. I should also mention throughout this run, I've been a little bit too confident and found myself often narrowly escaping death in the larger rooms, or in one instance I actually get killed. I highly recommend trying to trigger small amounts of enemies at a time, or if you find you've aggroed a horde of skeletons, drop back and try to bottleneck them. It can be easily get out of hand, uh, so just take your time and you should be able to get through it. Um, with a medium to higher level character I want to say. Now, upon returning to your base, you'll be able to summon Alden, who will then give you the next Hallowed Hall location. You'll also need to take with you the Revelwood Bone Key, which can be produced by Alden for 50 ectoplasm plasm fragments and 20 bones. Now, if you are struggling to find enough ectoplasm, I should also mention that you can mine the glistening bones that you may find in various locations within the Hallowed Hall for these fragments. Or, failing that, you can just kill enough of the skeletons to provide you with the sufficient fragments because some of them do drop them. Now, I've not had much luck with the bone arrows so far, but once I do understand them, I will let you know and perhaps we'll work a build that, that uses them particularly well. And if you are interested in seeing builds using the new buildables, do make sure to subscribe and let me know if you're going to attempt the Hallowed Halls with friends or perhaps alone in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, guys, until next time, special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters on Patreon, most notably our solo clips Patreon, Firefless, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity, Ben and Star, and our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Jenny. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.